flowing. I am going to play a game in Harlem. I got Harlem today. I, I played this ship a handful of times way back when we were allowed we were allowed to super test the Dutch cruisers. I had a game go up on the channel right after a Harlem game go up on the channel, a battle report right after the line released um, or right before the line, right as the line was releasing. Um, and I had very mixed success with this ship. That's been, gosh, six months now. So let's see how she's doing. We're going to push the battle button and go give Harlem a try. And then when the Harlem game is over, we're going to come back and put together uh, a div for some tier five brawls. I know you're not alpha. I just didn't want you. I don't want you to think I've forgotten about you. It has been a busy week around here. Um, I I did Hell Let Loose on Tuesday. I'm doing this tonight. Um, last night was a bunch of house cleaning. We did a ton of yard work and house cleaning on Sunday. I've been um, I've been painting. Right. I had one of my buddies come over on Saturday to help me learn how to paint miniatures. So I have I have bought um, when the Nemesis Lockdown Kickstarter pledge went in. I bought. Ooh, good matchmaking for us. No carrier. Sad face. But that's okay. All right. This is good matchmaking. Um, oh, Moto Sync dropping me. You sneaky bastard. Um, I uh, I bought the the full, full on set of the original Nemesis game, which I owned none of, and then bought Lockdown. Lockdown is apparently coming soon, and so I'm finally getting around to painting all my Nemesis miniatures, um, which means I have three different, like, alien hordes to paint, as well as the hero minis. Haven't started on the heroes yet. Did start in on the alien hordes. Oh, yeah, I gotta turn Duke back on. Um, assuming Duke is installed. Is Duke installed? <sighs> Wait, no. There's Duke. I need my Duke. Get over here. Um, so he came over, and I had a lot of fun with that. I think what I'm gonna do, actually, I need to spend a little bit of time. I've got my camera set up, basically sketched out for two-player and four-player, and technically three-player, around that table. What I don't have it sketched out for is solo play and like just me. So over the weekend, I'm gonna spend a little time um, jiggering the camera positions into the right place, doing some test runs. Audio is solved. I've gotta get, I mean, I've got, I've been buying lights this week. I discovered, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get super crazy, like, like audio visual nerd for a bit. When I was in college, I worked lighting and sound design for the drama club at my little university campus in Galveston. There were probably, 25 of us in this club, like maybe 30 if I'm generous. And um, I taught myself, right? I have no formal training in this. I've never done it before or since until now when I'm downstairs with track lights trying to light this space. The nice thing is lighting has come a long way. When I was doing lighting in college, you got a really bright spot with the barn doors on it, right? The little flaps you see around lights. And if you wanted to change the color of that light, you wanted to tone it down. You had to, you had a little metal insert. You put some, you put a piece of plastic or fabric or something in there and you slid it in front of the, the lamp to filter the light or to change the color. Called it, call those gobos. I don't know why that's what they're called. Um, I don't make the rules. Anyways, uh, nowadays you can do something very similar with LED lights. Although now you can run it off an app on your phone or a little, a little, a little point and click remote where you literally just change the color of light by going boop. And man, let me tell you, I have been having fun with that. <laughs> I have been having fun with that. So uh, I've been buying more lights this week. I've, I've, again, the track lighting is in. I've been trying to solve some things here and there with the lighting, and it's all starting to come. It's it's all been coming together, but I've been making really good progress on the lighting this week while I've been priming miniatures to do more painting. So I'm going to be combo. I think as I get deeper into February, I'm going to do some miniature painting streams. Um, I'm probably going to do at least one for each of the different uh, each of the different alien races um, that I'm planning on that I'm that I'm painting for Nemesis. And then, um, oh, that's, oh, oh, whoa, sir. A little aggressive there, huh? All right, we're going to load the AP for this guy. Sooner or later, he's going to have to turn or he's going to regret his life choices. The Fabuki is getting hydroed by the Herod, the Herod Deuce, so he's going to get dead soon. This guy, hang on a minute. Where are you in here? Airborne. 
I only took a good hit, but not a catastrophic one. Alright, so the Hero won because he has Hydro. Feels bad. This guy, is he going to stop? No, he's just going to keep turning out. Alright, we need to kill the... If we can, yeah, LOL, if we can kill the Massachusetts, LOL. Uh, we're going to be in decent shape. The leon has got a shot at the Bayard. Take that. Nice! Okay. 3v2 now, as near as I can tell up north. That feels good. Alpha, hey man, if you like it, look, it's like I told a guy on my YouTube channel who was complaining. He's like, he's like, oh, this ship's not that bad. I'm like, man, this, if you like the ship, like it. Like, I'm not here to tell you what to like, right? I'm, I'm here to tell you what I don't like and why I don't, why I don't think it's a very good ship. But if you like it, you do you, man. Crazy Optimus, thank you for the resub. Welcome in. But yeah, I need to be doing, I'm going to be doing some uh, miniature painting streams, I think, as I get a little deeper into this, because I'm totally new to this. Like, I'm a absolute noob when it comes to miniature painting. Um, my buddy who was here on Saturday was literally, like, taking me through, you know, like, the absolute basics of, of how these things work. You know, getting started, um, you know, dry brushing, layering, washing... All these kinds of things. Brand new to me. So. And I got I got a lot of battle mechs to paint, too, on top of all the board game miniatures I have to deal with. So, yeah. Okay. I think. Okay. Masses, we've got masses trying to reverse, it looks like. I'm going to drop one on him. See what I get out of it. Not as good as I'd hoped. Let's try again. Oh, nope, got to wait on that one. Okay, one more salvo, then we'll hit him with the uh, hit him with the bombs. Two more salvos, then we'll hit him with the bombs. Oh, we killed the New Orleans. I didn't. I didn't need that. That was a much better hit. Double fires. He's going to feel that. Leon took a torp. Not much I can do there. <sighs> really want to kill this dude. He's so low. He's still burning. He's burning on two fires in there. Well, 13 ships dead in seven and a half minutes. This game has been an absolute, excuse me, 14 ships. This game has been an absolute bloodbath, and my Leon is about to die. The good news is, I ought to be able to push this Herakazi out of position. His smoke is up, so he can't pull his little smoke hydro trick on me. My hydro is going to be down for two minutes, but by that time, I should be able to force him out. Got a New Orleans in the mid cap. Their last surviving battleship is a Rado way south. Okay. I kill this Arakazi, we're going to be in decent shape, I think. I will say this Arakazi is pretty good at his job. See? He's staggering his torpedo launches. He's behind this island now.
He's, his last salvo came from right over here, and I'm no longer spotted. So he's behind this island. Oh, my kingdom for a spotter plane right now. Oh, come on. Dang it, I can't see the guy anymore. Actually, I think I have to, I have to keep moving. If I slow down with his torpedo armament, I'm going to regret it. What's up, my dude? Did you think I forgot about you? I'm going to take one of these. Fine. This is gonna fuck up my hair. Uh, much better. My hydro's back up in a minute. He's gonna be. He's gonna be. His life's gonna be a lot less pleasant after that. Mm-hmm. Bye. Okay. Let's get these guns on the New Orleans. Good evening, Grant. How you doing? All right. Let's get south here. You know what? I poured this glass of bourbon. has not haven't even had any yet. I think it's time. Our victory is in sight. Mm-hmm. Every now and then you get a single barrel, a barrel proof that's just, oh, so good. I went back and bought another bottle from the same barrel. When I saw this on the shelf, I bought it, brought it home, tried it, and was like, I gotta have more of that. I went back and bought another bottle <laughs> that was, still had the same barrel number on it. <sighs> oh, Castle, no, I want to be sober at the end of my streams. <laughs> I mean, generally, like, not always. Maybe? All right, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> you can, Abyss. You can, Abyss. The very first um, very first um, barrel pick that I ever had was a gift, I think. I don't remember. I think it was a gift. Either way, we brought it home. We bought it. We brought it home. We drank it. It was amazing. It was delicious. And I thought... I, I didn't know what I was getting into at that point, and I was like, oh, man, they must all be this good. So then I went and bought another one. This was months later, right? Totally different barrel. It wasn't as good. In fact, it, it borderline wasn't good at all compared to what I had just had. So, yes, they are. You can absolutely taste the difference. I missed Tower Dock in there somewhere. I apologize. Thank you for the sub, Tower. Oh, I'm just I just realized this thing is up in... They're just sitting in there. There we go. Waiting for me to finish up this 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 game. La Lorado, we're gonna run you down and kill you. Because you're painfully slow. How did I drop half of those shells short? The Lazo has spoken. And then there was only the Lalorado. Lalorado. There we go. Aw, oh, he turned out of those. Those were like all garbage hits. All right, fine. I'll like aim like up here now. Error. Error. 
This might be good. Ooh, he felt that. Oh, he felt all of that. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. It's all about knowing what targets to hit with the bombs. Hmm. <laughs> Your walk-up music. I don't know, man. What would my walk-up music be? I'd have to think about that. If I'm brutally honest, I'd probably go with Thunderstruck. Like, that would be my preference. If you made me pick one song, Thunderstruck, probably. Thunderstruck. That'd be a good one. I tie... Wow! How often do you see a tie for top XP? Take one of these, sir. You had a good game. You had a good game playing mid. This guy was good. He just got hosed by his div mates. Like, they all died and, and he didn't. <laughs> I did a lot of damage to that Rado with the aerial bombs. How much did I do to him? 10k. 10k with those bombs. Man, that ship is, so that ship is soft. Okay, so... I am not a fan of the Dutch light cruisers. I know Hapa swears by Dezeba Provincia. I am not a huge fan of this ship, right? Um, but uh, I've I I remember liking Harlow. Like the Dutch heavies feel okay to me, and I've never played Johan and uh, Golden Lion, so I'll have to give those a shot at some point once I have.